Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Karen. I am an Irish budgeter. I've been budgeting since 2016 and I use the cash envelope system as the way I budget. I use a zero based budget so every single cent of um, money that we receive into our bank, into our house is accounted for and given a job and then I take out my cash on a weekly basis and stuff it into envelopes. Um, for my cash envelopes and my binders and all that sort of stuff. So, um, I also have an Etsy shop and I'm gonna be sharing with you now some stuff that is gonna be new in the shop this week. Um, so first thing first, we'll start from the back and I finally, finally have the 52 envelope challenge. So the way this is gonna be, it's gonna be available in the A6 which clips into a binder or the envelope inserts which sits, fits into our cash envelopes. You can see it's marked one to 52 and it saves 1,378 euros. Um, you can also opt to get a vinyl envelope with 52 envelope challenge wrote on it in vinyl um but you don't have to you can just get the cards these are laminated and um, so you can mark off with a sharpie and then just use a um nail varnish to remove it so the 52 envelope challenge will finally be available for people i've been getting requests for that for a long time um, next up then we have car insurance tracker so you can see it here again we have the a6 version and the envelope insert version so you state what your goal is and how much of the each of the 10 icons are worth and um, so you can see they're just pictures of cars and then a couple of ones actually indicating that it's, it's for your insurance um, so they'll be available and again it will have an option of coming with an envelope a zipped envelope then we have motor maintenance so you can see it here again in the a6 or the envelope insert and then you get the option of adding on an envelope with the vinyl on it then we have two versions of birthday so we have a pink version and a blue version um, a6 and envelopes of each so you can see it says birthday there is 12 um, sets of balloons so you can do it in a number of different ways so you set your goal and then you can do it each balloon so um, you know one two three four five six whatever you add up all the balloons or you can do it by each set of balloon it's up to you so again it becomes in a6 or uh, envelope insert in blue or pink um with a green and yellows on it as well and it can come optional with an envelope a vinyl um zipped envelope as well so they're all the new offerings that are going to be up on the shop so um, make sure that you check them out if you want them i also know i have had a couple of people talk to me about my 5k binder i am just making the final final cuts of that um, and i'm going to show you and um, hopefully in the next video it'll be completed exactly what it's going to look like when it's available on etsy and then um hopefully it'll be on the shop at that stage so let's see how much money we have this week to stuff we have 50 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 70 80 90 300 and 10 20 30 45 45 55 65 75 85 90 hold on 50 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 70 80 90 300 10 20 30 45 55 65 75 85 95 400 there we go i must have skipped money somewhere so 400 euros is what we're cash stuffing um this week okay so the first thing we are going to do is just empty out my grocery challenge from last week. So we had from the 6th of June, 
no it's July now is it the 6th of July to the 12th so the 6th to the 12th and um, so I'm just going to go through each of the envelopes and see if there's anything in them this one wasn't used and this one wasn't used last week um, but these ones were so first we have some change we have two euros three cent So two euros three cent. This is from the seventh and the ninth. We have two, three, three twenty four. And we have ten euro left in this. The eleventh. We have change and we have one, two, seventy, two euro seventy. And then the final envelope we have a five and change. So we have one, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, three, one seventy three. So um, these two are going to go in the envelope that we have here that we're saving up the cash for the end of the month. So we don't have a massive lot yet, but every little helps on this one. Um, and then the coins are going to go into my savings challenge um my spare change challenge but i'm just going to move them for now because i need to actually get into my purse so then what we're going to do is inside my purse i have my wallet dividers and these got a bashing this week so grocery is going to just stay to the side for a moment we have diesel diesel being the first one um, so what I'm going to do is one of these five euros, I'm going to swap out for some of this change that I have here. I'm going to make fiver in change. So we have fiver in change. I'm swapping out and this is going to go into spare change because now I do that roll thing. And um, where did I save that though? Is it in this one? Oh, this one's kind of come out a little. Um, okay, not in there. Here it is, here. So, I always put 25 euros into, um, what am I doing here, guys? What am I doing? Into diesel, we put 25 euros. So, 20 and 5. So, I'm going to roll for my roll to save. Because diesel prices have come down a little bit and we're not using it as much as we were, I can kind of save some of it. So this is just a fun way just to make up savings. This is my roll to save challenge. You get a um, a dice um, in the corresponding color that you choose. It doesn't have to be green, it can be many other colors and you get an envelope um, with the vinyl as well, I think. So let's give it a roll and see what we get this week. It's a two. So two, so I'm gonna mark off number two. So I'm gonna take two ones, I think. Yeah, and we put it in here, into our envelope. And we get this guy, we put him in. So we now have six in there. So what I was doing the last time what I did was I have this little challenge that I give to people when they buy from my shop. So this comes with your order, it says happy budgeting, thank you for your order and on the back it's save your coins. So I have three euros left and I think I'm just going to put in the three euros this week. And um, So I'll mark off the first three. Again this is not going to be an every week thing. Um, some weeks I'll need all of the 
the diesel money um, so I won't be able to do that but for now we're just putting 20 euros inside there medical is going to get 10 euros but medical has um, 40 euros so I'm going to just put in a 50 and then take out this 40 and household is getting 10 so we'll put them back in my wallet and we are good to go so let me see how many of these I have one two three four five okay perfect so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna restuff my grocery challenge so um we are stuffing from the 13th so this way from the 13th to the 19th I think is it uh, yeah 13 to the 19th so each day gets 15 euros 13 14 15 16 17 18 and 19 perfect so that's seven days full up for that now and we'll see how we go then we're just going to go into the christmas binder we have filled 12 of these envelopes already which is absolutely amazing so we're on to number 13 which gets no 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 30 euros so you can see each of these are 60 euros but I just do 30 per week for right now so we're on to lucky number 13 that's what I like to say lucky number 13 um so let's go into my wedding binder so we're adding 60 euros to the venue So we have 2,000 left in there and we're adding 60 euros. So let's do it. This way. So we have 2,000, 200, 400, 450, 520, 40, 60, 80, 90, 605 so 2605 and 2000 has already been sent but anyways either way i know that i can mark off an arch now um because i pre-looked at it <laughs> i worked it out so finally can work to can mark off an arch i think we were five euro off or something last week so we can mark off an arch now so this still has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of them to go. So we're still a good way. So we're at 4,600 now. Um, good thing they dry so quickly. So that's venue. Photo. Um, let me see guys. I have a list here of what I need to be doing. I just need to make sure I'm doing it. So that's 60. Venue is going to get 10. So Venue has 1,000 euros in there now. And we're going to put in 10. So we're going to mark off the next 10 we have. So that's good. So... That's 1,010 and we did already pay 150 to the photographer. We then have Celebrant. Um, we'll skip that for now. Hair and makeup um, is getting 10 euros. So I'm just gonna put in two fives because that's all I have left. 
So five, ten, and in there now we have two, three, three, twenty, forty, five, fifty, five, sixty-five. So three sixty-five is in there. But um so you can see I put in 10 but there is no 10 so I'm just going to mark off one side of that because it's a 20 and we're just doing half of it. That's the only way I can do it now because we're up to bigger ones. Um, so that was this one and this. Um, so we have bridesmaid um bridesmaid is getting 10 euro as well um so i'm going to take out this 10 and put in a 20. so in bridesmaid now we have two three fifty seventy ninety five um so good news is that i did actually get our bridesmaid dresses we picked out something um it we went to a shop called folkster um and the two girls because i have two bridesmaids um my sister and robert's sister um they fell in love with a dress um or skirt and top combination in folkster um but they were 250 euros each and i didn't really to be honest i didn't want to pay that so um what we did i gave it a couple of weeks and then i went back and i started to purchase stuff online um so basically I went to ASOS, Boohoo, Next, Sheen um, and I got, I think on the day there was how many dresses, like nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I can't remember. And they came here um, two weeks ago and they tried them on and we, we found a dress um, and it was a dress that I originally wanted actually. Um, so... I had to buy all those dresses and now I've sent them back and I've got refunds for all of them except from ASOS. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come true until I, um, and when that does come true, I'll rejig this um, because it won't be accurate. But anyways, um, so that's bridesmaids done. Um, groom is going to get five euros and groom's men is gonna get 10 euros. So this is groom. And he's getting five so I can mark off an arch for the groom so in there now we have 200 300 and 5 10 15 so 315 euros inside the groom and groomsman is getting 10 euros um, so again I'm going to take out that 10 and put in a 20 so we now have 50 70 90 so we added in 10 so we've 90 so uh, 15 30 60 70 80 so I'm going to wait Or will I just do two? No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until we get five more euros in there and mark off the next one in the row. So those that's those two. And then we're left with wedding rings as our last one. So um, let me see, guys. Let me see. We did that and we did that. And um, we have 35 euros to go in here into wedding rings this week. So 20, 35, so we'll add 35 in. Um, so in wedding rings now we have 200, 320, 40, 60, 80, 95. So 395 and we're gonna mark off another arch. Although, hold on, let me see. 395, um, 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 um. I really need a proper calculator. So 395 and we're taking away 40, 35, 40, 35, 40, 40, 35, 40. Guys, 40, 35, 40, 35, 40, 35. 
40, 35, 4, no, hold on. Let's do it this way. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so this is, last week I just marked off one, so I'm going to finish that for the 20, oh guys, <laughs> finish that for the 20 and then we're another 20 on this. Okay, that took me a while to figure that out, didn't it? <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, move on to this, which is the birthday binder. Um, Birthdays is only gonna get five euro. So um, we had a birthday of a fr our friend's daughter turned three. And we obviously use the um, money to buy our gift from here. Um, I'm still waiting on that Samsung 75 euro to be returned so I can refund it to here um, from when I bought Robert his earbuds, um, his Samsung buds. Um, and I'm pretty sure then that I'm all square on birthdays. Um, I did get an email off Samsung saying that um, it will be two weeks until it's processed. Um, that they haven't forgotten about it that it'll be two weeks and I think that was nearly a week ago now at this stage um, so anyways we have 200, 250, 300, 350, 360, 370 so 370 in there then we're doing seasons and seasons is getting 10 euros so seasons is a four card challenge with the zipped envelope um, so you get spring, summer, autumn and winter. You can also opt to get the scratch off um, holographic stickers if you choose. I'm going to do 10 euros this week, which is this guy here. So this one, because we're just working in a row really. So do that. And we're putting in 10. So halfway through this one already. rest of them have nothing then we are going to this blue binder so first off is clothes clothes is going to get five euro and um, so let me see how i'm going to do this i'm going to change out 15 and i'm going to put in a 20 so we now have 45 euros in there Night away we just did for it our um, diesel. This we also did with the rest of the diesel money. Um, dance, we had to pay for that short term, um, which was like 24 euros. So did that. Ava's is still there. Um, spare change challenge and summer is complete. So if we go to the spare change challenge. So we have five. Also, look at this. It's like a 2023 one. It says Euro 50 on it. Don't know what that's about. Um, so seven, eight, 50. Nine, nine, 40, 50, 60. 65 70 so 970 right so 
seven, eight, nine, nine fifty, nine seven. Yeah. Yeah, nine seventy. So we put all of that in there. Yeah, so it's like the height of a five euro coin now. So 970. So so 970, we're gonna take off the biggest one, 318. Leaves us with 652. Gonna take off 302, leaves us with 350. So if we take off 281, it leaves us with 69 cent. And we have that, okay. So if we do 281. And then the 69 cent up here. Sorry if you can hear the kids shout and they're playing ultimate tag. Whatever the heck that is. So yeah, that is that spare change challenge. So that's been coming on great the last couple of weeks. I'm really excited to open my tin. I think there should be more than the 66795 in there, but we'll see. So then the last one we have is this binder. Okay, so school is gonna get 45 euros. So um, let me see, I have 20, 30, 40. No. So I legit had to go and watch back that last clip because <laughs> I was so confused. So we have 40 and five. Oh my goodness. Right, so 45. Um, so now we have 220, 40, 60, 70, 80. 280 euros um, in there now. So we mark off this. And this, and we're 20 euros left. Hold on, am I right? 220, 40, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, 280, okay. Although I, I kind of feel like that's wrong, guys. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, it is wrong. I did something wrong somewhere. Because tax is getting 5 euro, so there's 50, 70, 80, 5, 95. So 95 euros in tax. Insurance is getting 5 euros, so... What should I put in birthdays? I think I only put five as well. Okay, well insurance right now is not getting anything because I mixed myself up and maintenance is getting the final 10. Plus I didn't put anything in here. What? 20, 30, Two, three, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, three, eighty. So rainy day fund is supposed to get ten euros, and that's not there. And insurance is supposed to get five euros, and that's not there. Um, 
I'm gonna take this spare So this is getting 10 euros. So I'll take out this 10. So it now has 50, 70, 90, 100 in there. And I'll just do, I'll go over it off, off camera and see what I've done wrong. But that's 100 in there now. And then one of these five euros is going to go into insurance because that is supposed to get five euro. And that has 200, 350, 75. So 375 is now in insurance. So this five euro is just extra um, because I broke it. But yeah, it's been a bit of a messy one. Especially at the end, trying to work out stuff. Um, I'm not sure what happened to my money. Maybe I didn't have enough money, but I thought I did because I had 400 and that's what I need. So I must have put extra money somewhere. So I'll have to look at all my footage and see what I've done wrong. Hopefully it's not big. <laughs> um, but yeah guys, that is it. That is today's video. I really do hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, if you saw where I went wrong, do let me know down in the comments just in case I don't cop it when I'm re-watching. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.